think you can, I think the players understand through their club experiences and if they didn't understand it before, when we went to Libya, uh, to play Libya in Tunisia, we, we saw how intimidating it can be. So I think the players did very, very well to, to cope with that. Uh, security, security on site, I'm sure will be uh, bumped up now. But I played, I played in Northern Ireland when I was when I was with England, in the middle of the riots, where they said to us, if the, if it kicks off, run assemble in the centre circle, and we'll drop a helicopter and get you out of there. That was pretty intimidating, but. I think the only way you can deal with it is by focusing completely on football. And that's all I'll be speaking about to the players. You know, the more I speak about this psychologist is going to help you to deal with the, the bomb threats, I don't think I'm going to help the players. So I will, I will try and get us into a bubble. I'll try and get us into a, a little bit maybe of a siege mentality and say that we're here to play football. We're not, we're not here to think politics. We're not here to, to worry about what may happen. We're here to make sure that we give the best performances that we can give. And I think uh, anything less than that, and you tread in a very, a very, very dodgy road. You know, I mean, let's be fair. <coughs> we can go anywhere in the world today. You know, I've, my family live in, a, in a, probably one of the most civilized places in the world, in Sweden where you think things are so, so easy going. Not more than a month, not less than a month ago, in the little sleepy village that we lived in, someone was decapitated. Someone that was absolutely out of his tree on drugs and tried to chop the head off a young girl. Now, that can frighten the living daylights. And I could sell my house and move somewhere else, but unfortunately, we are living in that world. Before we went to, I'll, I'll tell you this, I don't know if I should read really, it, before we went to Libya, the doctor told me he thought I got cancer. I went, to, I went to Tunisia, and I said, "No, I'm not going to get tested. I want to go. I've got a game to play. I don't want that in my mind." Bloody difficult trying to coach a team when you think you could have cancer. I got back, and they did the test, and it was okay. Thank goodness. But you know, we have to deal with those things. I dealt with it. The lads will deal with it. And when we get to, when we get there, I'll only focus on. Enjoy this event. Enjoy this and make the country proud. That's it. I don't want to be thinking about it too much. I, to, I, I understand you, 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 you question because it's a relevant point. But our job is to get there and make sure that sport is the main motivator for us. And making people proud and not concentrating on the negatives by just saying, listen, we're here to enjoy this. We've done well as a team to get here. We're not here as tourists and we're certainly not here to worry about the politics of the country or, or the, the leanings of this group against that group. No, we're there to go and win, win, football, win football games. So, probably to answer your question, I don't think the psychologists will be there for that reason. If we do, it'll be, it'll be for different reasons.